Study abroad, Tate, take one. Brenda, take one. Jimmy, take one. Chad, take one. Tila, take one. Study abroad, Elena, take one. <laughs> My name is Tila Foxworth. I am a Communication Studies faculty at PCC over at the Southeast Campus, and I took a group of students to study intercultural communication in Lima, Peru this summer. I was in Spanish studies and we went to the Dominican Republic. I went to Peru. And I studied in Japan. Um, throughout the class, we didn't spend a lot of time in the classroom. We went out and we talked to a lot of the locals and we made sure that we were using the right conjugations. We were kind of immersing ourselves in the cultural context of the language itself. We went to indigenous tribes and we, and we learned about the way they live and how they speak Spanish, where it came from, that kind of thing. One of the barriers I faced was it was my first time being away from home all on my own without family or friends. and. I overcome that barriers because my study abroad cohorts and I, we treat each other like family and we had each other's backs. It's kind of one of those things that you just have to take that step and decide that you're going off the cliff, but it's okay because a parachute will catch you. I believe that, that my study abroad experience was a wise investment, um, academically, uh, definitely, uh, just being in that context and learning about these subjects there. Academically is a super wise investment. I think you should really put effort into investing into a study abroad program sometime in your school career, absolutely. Having that close connection with your students abroad is so different than I traditionally had in the classroom because you are around them 24-7. Personally, because it was a dream for me and my dream came true. <laughs> Every single student that ever comes in my classroom, and I do even before these programs were there, that if you have the opportunity to travel abroad, to go. I would recommend studying abroad to everyone because it's an experience that not a lot of people get to have. It mixes the aspects of adventure with learning and I think that's a great way to retain the information. It's a life-changing experience. It changes you both mentally and physically. It allows you to step out of your comfort zone and see the world. I just think that it's such an important thing for us to have this idea of a global citizenship. Um, that we are a part of a bigger world and that there are people out there that um, you've never met, uh, that you have tons of differences from, but you also have a lot of similarities too. Funding for a study abroad trip can be a struggle for a lot of students, but what really helps is if you, if you reach out to the study abroad office. So they were like, apply for these scholarships, and I got the Gilman Scholarship, and at first I didn't think I would get it, but I got it and it covered pretty much everything. Um, other than that, it was saving money and there was some personal sacrifice in there as well. I did GoFundMe programs, um, just kind of got my story out there and why I believed in going and studying abroad. If I were to describe my study abroad experience in one word, it would be illuminating. A dream. Amazing. Enlightened. Alive. If I had one word to describe my abroad experience, it would be Viva because I feel like I lived. <laughs>